brown papered packages tied up in strings. These are a few of my favorite things. What are your favorite things? <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. Lulu. Are bully sticks your favorite? Ooh. You're crazy, that's what you are. We're doing our favorite things today. All right, I know what your favorite is. Let's go see what mommy's favorites are. Hey everyone, happy Vlogmas day five. Are you getting sick of seeing me? <laughs> I'm getting sick of seeing me when I edit, but I hope you guys are having fun with this series. We're down to our last three days. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we are already on day five of Happy Holidays. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I am so glad that you found me. My name is Lori. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Welcome to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. We are in the middle of a seven-day holidays series here on my channel, and I am just having such a good time. It has been very grueling as far as like filming every single day and uploading and I had not a single video prepared at the start of this week. So whatever you see go live at the end of the day with the exception of maybe some thrifting footage, everything is being filmed, edited and put out in the same day, which I don't recommend. However, I am in it, we are in the final stretch, and I'm very excited for today's video. If you enjoy a good haul and you're having fun with my holiday series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be part of my community. I typically release two videos every week. This week, of course, I'm releasing seven, and today's haul is going to be a little bit different. Most of my hauls are thrift-based or I'm sharing with you pre-owned stuff because that's kind of where I spend most of my time. Today I thought it would be really fun to do my take on my favorite things. So I'm pulling a little Oprah here and going all favorite things on you for holiday 2020. I always like to put my Lori touch on things and share my own little take on these fun versions of like Vlogmas or favorite things. So for this particular version, as you may have read in my thumbnail, I am going to be focusing on stocking stuffers. I'm going to share with you 15 of my favorite things that I think are fantastic for stocking stuffers. I love coffee, I love planning, I love reselling, I enjoy relaxing, so I am going to incorporate all of those things into this video. Out of the 15 items that I'm going to share with you, 12 of them are less than $25, and probably eight or nine of them are less than $15. So this is not like a super expensive thing. My one criteria is that it could fit into a stocking. So let's get started. I have it broken down into a few categories. We're going to have beauty and wellness, planning, and then reselling slash content creation. So those are my stocking stuffer recommendations for today. All of the items that I'm sharing with you today, I will list in the description so you can click and go to all these different sites and check things out for yourself. I do have a couple affiliate links included in my recommendations, but these are all things that I actually love and have used and I would not ever recommend anything to you guys, I think you all know that by now, that I don't believe in. Everything listed here today is tried and true and I really hope you enjoy it. I wanted to start out with something that helps me start my day every day and that is a fantastic cup of coffee in the right mug, right? Doesn't coffee taste better when it's in the right mug? I was recently shopping at Target with Jay for um, you know stocking stuffers and whatnot, and I came across these two mugs that are put out by the Magnolia line, which is Joanna Gaines' line. And this one says Morning Beautiful, and this one says Morning Handsome. And that is often how we greet each other. And these days, while we are stuck inside and have been for the better part of 2020, it's just part of our ritual now. So I thought these mugs were just so cute and they just remind me of my time at home with Jay because every morning we're on that couch, he's on one end of the sectional, I'm on the other end of the sectional. We have the news in the background but we're really only just partially watching. We're both kind of answering our emails. We check in with each other for the day. And then the clock strikes eight or 8.30, whatever time we get motivated and then off we go. 
These mugs are the biggest bargain. They're $4.99 on the Target website. They are on Amazon. Don't buy these through Amazon. People have them listed for $41. They are such a great value. And I will say they pass the test. They have a good size handle. They have the exposed ceramic on the bottom if you really like that farmhouse look. They are just the best $5 I could spend. I love, love these mugs and I think they would make the perfect stocking stuffer for your loved one. This is a New England brand. My friend, who is my neighbor, her cousin was a designer for Simon Pierce for many, many years. They live in Vermont and then he started his own business called Farmhouse Pottery. This is one of the items that is very, this is more expensive. Two of these mugs is $100, I believe, on their website. I have no affiliation with them. I just love this mug. And this would be like the higher end to this farm mug. They both have a similar vibe. This is, you know, totally neutral. They also have a silo mug that's a little more shaped like the uh, Magnolia one, but that one's sold out on their website. I just wanted to mention this brand because I love to support local businesses, small businesses, made in America, handmade, you name it. Their stuff is just beautiful. So I did want to mention this company, farmhousepottery.com, made in Vermont. Let me know if you've ever heard of this brand. I love their stuff. Maybe I can get them to sponsor me and then I can get more mugs. <laughs> I have a mug issue. The next thing I wanted to talk about is very simple, but it's also a local thing to me. But I also wanted to know in the comments if these are, I know they're sold everywhere, but if they're a thing elsewhere. And what I'm talking about is Yankee candles. The only ones I had to show you are like burnt down to practically nothing. This was the white pumpkin and clove and this was holiday berry. I love evergreen this time of year and they run a lot of specials and I found some Yankee candles on Amazon for $16.99 but sometimes you can go right into like a Hallmark store at least in my area and they always have specials on Yankee candles. It's just something I love especially this time of year after I clean the kitchen at night I love to light a candle. It's a great little stocking stuffer. Can't go wrong with a candle and under $20. And I'm kind of setting a mood here with my coffee mug and my candle. This is one of my favorites. Okay, this is the last thing in kind of just like cozy vibes for the stocking. And this is a really inexpensive one. And that is Lily's Salted Almond Milk Chocolate. These are my absolute favorite when I was doing keto. But what I found was, so I've been really bad about keto if, in case anyone is following that journey. I haven't really been doing it since Halloween. And what I noticed is around Halloween when I was of course eating the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and all the goodies that kids didn't come to get because not many kids went trick-or-treating around here, I noticed that I missed my Lily's. My taste buds kind of adapted and I don't really love the overly sweet candies. So this is great. My favorite is the salted almond milk chocolate, stevia sweetened, no added sugar, low carb, keto friendly. <laughs> this is what I love the most. They do have a 12 pack for $36, but you can buy these individually for $2.70 on Amazon. Although I didn't see the milk chocolate listed individually, the dark chocolate was, but you can get these at any grocery store. And we always have like a stack of them and we'll have a little bit of wine at night and then we'll split one of these chocolate bars or maybe we'll eat it over the course of two days. But it's a really great treat if you're trying to watch your carb intake and your sugar intake and it really does the trick with the salt and the almond and the chocolate, it's like the best combo. So I had to include this, perfect for a stocking stuffer. Moving on to beauty products. I'm very basic when it comes to beauty products, but I've also been around a bit. So one of the things that I use in the shower every single day is Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. This stuff is amazing. This product is made with organic oils. If you like lavender, I don't think it gets any better than this stuff. It smells so good. My sister-in-law was the first person to introduce me to this brand and it was only like maybe three to five years ago and I am just hooked. She bought me the lavender and then I was at TJ Maxx, I think, and I bought the almond scent, which is really nice too. You can find this stuff everywhere. This giant bottle I got, this is the 32 ounce. This is the first time I bought a big one like this. I wanna say this was like 12 or $13 at Wegmans grocery store. This is available online in a two pack of the 32 ounces for, I think it's like $32. And you can buy them separately too, but it's a better value if you get both. You can pre-treat clothing with this. 
It's made with organic oils. It's also certified fair trade. It's really a product you can feel good about and it's a good price and it lasts a really long time. And a tiny bit goes a very long way. You can also use this in your hair, which I've never done. But I guess it's fair to say this is super multi-purpose, great price, I can't live without it, and I can't recommend this enough. While we're talking about inexpensive, tried and true brands, I wanted to mention CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is what I use in the shower every day. This is on Amazon for $14.99. I like the Hydrating Facial Cleanser because my skin is a little bit dry as I get older. I didn't start using CeraVe until my kids started going to the dermatologist, and this is what they always recommended as just a gentle, all-purpose facial cleanser, and it's really nice on my skin. It doesn't dry my skin out at all. I just keep it in my shower, couple pumps, and then I'm um, in business. I have also used this CeraVe moisturizer, but I'm not really committed to any moisturizer. I'm all over the map when it comes to moisturizers, so I didn't want to recommend any one. I'll buy what's, what's available at TJ Maxx in the checkout. I've used this before. Right now, I'm using the moisturizer from that really high-end company that wanted me to do a review on their beauty products, which is really nice, and I can't think of the name right now. So I'm all over the place with my moisturizer, but I use this cleanser every day. It's a great stocking stuffer, and I think it's great for all the members of your family. I think when I first purchased this, I got it like in a two or three pack like at BJ's. And then I got one, Angie got one, gave one to Rocco. So this is a great product and just so easy. Great stocking stuffer. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is expensive, but I have to mention it. I have to talk about this. Um, I have a good friend, Marcy, who is a reseller. We met on Instagram. She is a great little Southern girl in Texas and she is a love. She's the same age as me and she has the most gorgeous hair. Just to be sweet, she just sent me a card one day and included some free samples of this stuff. Well, this is the Rejuvenique and I fell in love with this. I ended up signing on to get like the kit for them. So I guess I'm technically like a rep for Monat although I've never sold a single thing and I've never promoted it, so I'm a very bad rep. This is the first time I've ever talked about it. I think I signed on in July, I think. This is by far my favorite thing in their entire line. And I have like a mask for my hair, which I don't use very much. I love their Renew shampoo, I do use that. I have a leave-in conditioner that I'm not crazy about. I love their dry shampoo, love their hairspray. But if I had to talk about one thing, it would be this. This is retails for $99. If you're like a VIP customer, and if I was a good rep, I would know how to get you there, but I can't. If you have questions, let me know. I will have my link in the description. Maybe you guys will be the first people to buy from me. You can buy it for $84, and they do have promotions every once in a while. I just want to read this. It's Rejuvenique Oil Intensive. is so pure and versatile that it can be used in multiple ways to improve skin and hair. I put this on my scalp. I put it on the ends of my hair. It's in my hair right now. I use it with my serum every single morning. It has like a very light citrus smell. I could eat it, it's so good. And I put it on my skin in the morning. I mean, you can put this everywhere. It's amazing. You pump right here and then it's like an eye drop and you just have this like little bit of oil that comes out. So, oh, it smells so good. I just love it. It's one of those things like I have anxiety already thinking about running out of it, which is why Marcy and I just messaged each other because I need to get more before it runs out. It helps to rejuvenate your hair and scalp, which my hair gets very dry. I used to have very thick hair when I was younger, but as I get older, it's thinner, it's more dry, it's brittle. I still have to style my hair. This is still, like, I still have to flat iron and curl my hair, but this makes it so smooth, and I just know my hair is growing faster, and it has more shine to it. I just love it. You can use it as a pre-shampoo treatment, as, oh, you can do it as a leave-in treatment. So Marcy was saying that sometimes she will just use a combination of some of the products and just comb this through your hair. It will look greasy. You can't put too much in if you wanna style it and go on with your day and then put it in a ponytail and just like leave it in your hair and then wash it out the next day. I can't say enough about it. So if you're interested in this, this is definitely a splurge, um, but I will have a link for it and feel free to ask me any questions. I'll answer as best I can. Okay, last but not least in the little realm of beauty products is this little guy. 
This is the Flawless Hair Remover. Have you guys seen this? It used to be like advertised on TV and mine is gross. I'm ordering a new one because this is so old. It's this little hair remover. I'm gonna show you the tip here if we can get in there. And you turn it on. And you just go along little areas and you remove hair gently, no pain, it has a little light to help you. I joke and say that as I get older, I'm losing hair from my head and my eyebrows, and it's you know just migrating to my lip, chin, and neck area. The beauties of being Italian and in your late 40s. Um, this is a godsend. Like if I'm just going out to dinner with my friends and I take a peek over here, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's not shaving. I don't know what magic this does, but it's amazing and it's only $19.99. It also comes with a replacement head, which I lost. But when you want to clean it out, you just you just tilt this like this, and then all the little fuzzy hairs end up in the middle, which is kind of gross, so I'm not gonna show that to you. But I've never replaced this in two years. It, it runs on a AA battery, which I looked at this morning. I've never replaced the battery. Best 20 bucks. I love this thing. They've kind of expanded their line because I think this was really popular, and they have one for your brow area that comes to like a fine point. And I think they might have one for bikini area and all that stuff, but I just use this one. I think the eyebrow one looks really nice too, but $20, I love that. Next up, I have to talk about planning and journaling, and I'm so sorry if you're sick of hearing me talk about it, but it's just something that I've been really excited about. I am going to end my weekly haul series with a stationary haul, and it's not for stuff that I'm selling. Somebody left a comment and it led me to believe she thought I was selling stuff. Um, I'm not selling anything. It's just all the stuff that I've been purchasing and using. So I won't get into huge detail on my planning stuff, but I did want to mention some stuff because I think some of these items are just great Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, stocking stuffers. I have a cart full of stuff, new stationary things that I can't yet recommend. So the only stuff I'm recommending to you today is stuff that I have been using for at least six months and love. So you know I have to start out with Passion Planner daily. This is a perfect stocking stuffer. This is the small version of the Passion Planner. It is undated. They have very simple layouts for their planners. They're very open-ended, which I really like. You can get as detailed and artsy as you want, or you can be as basic as you want. And I just want to show you two examples. So this morning when I was watching the news and drinking my coffee, um, I planned out my day for today. And so I just very simply, this is says favorite things and it kind of breaks down the four categories I'm talking about, talks about the things that I need to get done today. Super simple, one black pen and one highlighter, that's all. There are other days where I am feeling pretty fancy and I want to get into stuff and make it look really nice and use all the washi tape and the embellishment. This was a day that I wanted to plan out my content for December, so I got a little fancier with that. But I love that it is undated. This is another little fancy spread that I did. I love that this book is undated. There's no planner guilt. I may only use this three times a week on days that I'm really trying to get stuff done. This is like the ultimate to-do list for me, how I use it. I use my larger book for my week at a glance and my month at a glance and just kind of being able to take a step back and look at what my life looks like as a whole. This is when I really wanna focus and I'm going to be giving one away on Sundays. And I'll give the parameters around the giveaway in my Sunday video, but I just wanted to show you some of their variety. This is the Evergreen, which I love. I ordered Evergreen for my 2021 planner. This is like a blush color. This is just gray, and this is their classic black. I do have an affiliate link for them. You can save 10% on your order if you use my code. Right now, they have a special that's buy three, get one free. So it's a great gift. So these are $30 a piece but the black one is 25, these are 30. I bought four and I am going to give one away on my channel and I have a couple that I'm gonna give for gifts and because they're undated, I can just store these and use them for myself. It doesn't matter when I use them. They say daily on the side here. I love this company so much and I had to include this on my favorite things because I've been using the Passion Planner for a few years, but the daily is new to me and it's like my new love. What I'm getting very excited for and gearing up for in the new year is starting a bullet journal. 
um, which is going to be in a different journal than my passion planner and it has a totally different purpose for me. I have been watching an absurd amount of videos on bullet journaling, plan with me, planning for 2021, how to set up your bullet journal, around the clock obsessed. And it wasn't until, I don't know, probably 30 videos in from multiple creators that someone actually said that the bullet journal method was actually a book that was written by somebody. I had no idea. So Ryder Carroll is the founder of the bullet journal method and he wrote a book and he had ADD and really struggled to keep things in order. He just came up with a system that worked for him and as people saw him using this method of journaling and record keeping, people started wanting information from him. It is an actual strategy and there is technique to setting up your bullet journal. This may sound very boring to some of you, but this is what I go to bed to at night. I'm very good recently about putting my phone down and taking out my book and I'm loving it and I wanna like really be prepared. So this retails for $25. It's on Amazon Prime, a hardcover, for just $11.30, such a bargain. And it's a quick read. He shares examples on how he shares his journaling and the symbols, what they mean. The thing about bullet journaling is much like the Passion Planner, which is why I love to recommend it, is you can do a super simple version of bullet journaling, which is how he started this, or you can do super artsy, elaborate, labor-intensive, beautiful layouts. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever style works for you, and I like how adaptable this book is. And I am really feeling like I have to hit the reset button for 2021. I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone in that. I'm really looking forward to setting up my bullet journal. I'm gonna talk quickly about some pens that I love and then we will move on to the reselling portion of my favorite things. I have been using the Micron Sakura pigment pens for 20 years. I used to be a consultant for Creative Memories Scrapbooking. When Anthony was first born, he's gonna be 22 next April. These were the markers or the pens that we used for recording in our uh, albums. This is Archival Ink, which is why we carried it through Creative Memories. I didn't know anything about journaling or pens. I just know that I have Micron pens that I got 20 years ago that are just now starting to die. These are amazing. I like the 0.5 tip. The 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0.7 are my favorite, so they have different tips depending on if you like to use a really fine tip or um, if you like a thicker tip. This is my pen of choice when I want something archival safe, when I want the quality to be beautiful. It doesn't smudge, it dries really quickly. There's a really nice set that comes with six pens on Amazon that sells for just $10.69. Moving on to a different pen, if you have a little anxiety when it comes to planning, like I do or did, I was always afraid I was going to make a mistake and I really wanted my journal to look pretty. I've kind of gotten over that. I still like a neat looking planner. These pens by Frixion, is it Frixion? Oh, Frixion. These are erasable pens, erasable gel pens, and they're great. I love them. My daughter has been using these to study for finals. She uses different pens for different things in her notes. The only downside to these is A, I think that they smudge, I mean, far more than like a Micron pen. And B, they run out of ink relatively quickly, I think. They're not expensive. I think they're a great starting point if you are just getting into journaling and you're worried about making mistakes and you don't wanna do a pencil and then go over it with a pen. These are great. I mostly use the black one. I feel like the ink is running out just at a time that I'm feeling more and more confident with my journaling. And so I'm kind of making the transition to just using this. Um, I'll talk way more about pens and the stationary thing, but I love these. And the last thing that I want to talk about, these will all be linked in my Amazon store. These are my faves. I've been using these for a year and I've just been recently adding to them. These are the Tombow water-based dual tip brush pens. I've been really loving these cool colors lately. This is the tip for Tombow. Oh, I should do that so you can see. That's one side. And then... The other side is like that. 
So you can go back and forth. I usually use the brush side. I've been using my Tombow pens to practice letter making and handwriting and just upping my game with like modern calligraphy. It's just like a hobby of mine. These are so cute and Amazon has some great deals on these. They have a few sets. I think they're primary set and there's one other set that I think I'm gonna buy because I don't think I have a lot of their colors. They have limited time deals for $13.49 on some, and then they have a couple that are $12.14. Oh, the landscape set is the one that I'm looking at. So typically these are at Michael's for like $24, but I always would use my coupon. I went to a larger art supply chain in Boston so that I could buy these individually. I even went as far as downloading off of a blogger's site. Like if you signed up for her email, you got this free download. So I could see all of the pens that I have from Tombo. It's been such a great creative outlet for me. I have really enjoyed it. I'll show you one little drawing that I did. Featured this on my Instagram page a little while back. This was from Amanda Rach Lee. And I just did this little drawing, which is the view from my desk. And you know, I improvised a little bit. She gave a sample and then I just used my Tombo pens and created this. And I created this on a separate piece of paper and then I just put it in my planner. I cut it out and put it into my planner. And that's like a nice strategy to use if you're worried about making a mistake in your planner is to draw something or doodle on something separate and then just tape it into your planner. So those are some of my favorite stationary planning journaling supplies that I've been using and I'm sure I'm going to tap into so many more and I'm excited for that video on Sunday. Um, my son is FaceTiming me. Hi, Ann. That was funny. Lulu, say hi to Anthony. Oh. I forgot one thing. This is a pricey thing, but I wanted to mention it with the planning before I went into the reselling stuff. And that is an Apple Pencil. It took me a while to kind of latch on to the concept of this pencil because they are pretty expensive. But I invested in iPad Pro, like the smaller version, and I didn't really use it as often as I had thought I wanted to. I wanted to get into digital planning. I had downloaded Good Notes. I had all these plans for using my iPad within my reselling business. And then I just didn't really use it very often. And I had this great quality iPad that was sitting idle for a bit. And I got the pencil with it and I wasn't using the pencil very much either. And then recently this year, I downloaded the app, which I think was $10, Procreate. And it has really opened things up for me. I have been using my pencil quite a bit now with my iPad Pro. And this is the second generation one. This has the magnet, which attaches to your iPad, which is really nice. And you can replace the tips when they get worn down. But I have found this to be amazing. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to in 2021 is being more creative. That's gonna be my word of the year. And this is a tool that has really helped me do that digitally with Procreate. I don't really use this for much of anything else except for Procreate, but I love it. I can't imagine my iPad now without this pencil. This is definitely investment. It's a little more of a bougie gift. Um, I think it's $114 on Amazon. Of course, you can get it right at the Apple store too, but I really do like this. And it's a very nice gift or a nice treat if you have been on the fence. I didn't love the first pencil. I kept losing it. It just felt like it wasn't as accurate, but this is really precise. It feels good in my hand and I like it. Okay, let's move on to reseller stuff. So the last portion of my favorite things video is just going to be some tried and true reselling tools and content creating tools that I could not live without. And these are all really affordable things that would be great for the reseller in your life or if you wanna treat yourself, they're not gonna break the bank. When we're talking in terms of stocking stuffers and items that are $25 or less, I had some key things that I wanted to share with you that I think are just fun and that I use every single day in my reselling business. Well, one of them I don't use every day, but three of them I do. And I'm just gonna start with basic thank you stickers. These. I bought for the fall and my goal was to use all these stickers before Christmas season, but I didn't. I thought there was 250 on the roll, but I think there are 500. These are on Amazon, these exact stickers for $3.76, I think, and I love these stickers. So that's it. And they're just on a little roll 
I always include a sticker with every purchase. And I just think it's a really nice, personal, inexpensive touch for a reseller to up your game. And of course, I do use the clear poly bag. Amazon has a huge variety of stickers, but I think it's just a very simple, inexpensive, nice touch, professional, personal. If you don't want to write a thank you card, it's cleaner than like including a card. You can just put a little thank you sticker on and you can find one that speaks to you. You can get different ones for different seasons. I also, I'll show you some other ones that I have. I bought these, but I mistakenly ordered a smaller size. I really loved that these were natural and, but I don't love that they're on a sheet. I love them like this and they're half the size. So this was a little bit of a, uh. These are perfect for the holidays. They're very neutral. I feel like these would work well into the winter. I love these. I just wish they were one size bigger. These are cute, but they're actually clear and they're tiny. So if I put them on a package that's black, like you lose the lettering. I thought it was a white sticker. These are tried and true. I've used these for a very long time and I like using these too on some of my men's packages because it's just basic thank yous. But these run between $3 and $15. 15 is on the very expensive side, but depending on how many you buy or the size that you purchase, I've looked into getting custom stickers and they're a little bit more expensive. I actually recently did place an order through Vistaprint. I've never had business cards. I've been in business for over two years, never had business cards. So I finally bought some on the back. It has all of my info, Lori Tate on YouTube. It has my Poshmark closet, my Instagram handle, my Facebook page, and my email address. On the front is just a picture of me with my Lori's Boston Found logo, and it says, thank you for your purchase. I hope you love it. I feel a little bit weird that I put my face on there, but they're fine. I'm going to try these out. I love that it has all my information on the back. I probably won't send these out with everyone, but it's another alternative, and Vistaprint is super inexpensive. It doesn't get any more basic than this, but a great stocking stuffer is a tape measure. I believe this is $3.99. I just use these really basic tape measures. They're everywhere in my house. I have them up here in my office. I have them looped around my ring light in my studio where I take all my pictures and do my measurements. I probably have five of these and you know what? I could have five more and it still wouldn't be too many. They're inexpensive. They're a great stocking stuffer. You can get nicer ones than this, but the one that I linked is just a very basic one. I think the one that I linked is uh, black black writing instead of red. My joke is that no matter how careful I am to include measurements with all of my listings, whichever ones I may not include measurements with for whatever reason are always the ones that people message me and say, can you give me the chest measurements on this without fail? It happens all the time to me, so I always need a tape measure handy. Tear mender. This is a relatively new thing that I heard about from another reseller. This is not expensive. I think this is maybe $11 on Amazon. Bish's Original Tear Mender since 1932. I keep this up here because sometimes when I'm going over items right before they ship out to a customer, if it's not already in a package, I go over it with a fine tooth comb. And oftentimes I use this for labels. You know, if the brand tag has come unstitched. I mean, you need so little. This will probably last four years. You just need the tiniest little dot. Just like, we'll hold it for a few seconds and it adheres and it doesn't damage clothing and it's wonderful. So I love having this around. I almost was embarrassed to mention this because I talk about this all the time. I don't know what I would do without this. This is Zero Odor, Odor Eliminator. There is like a three pack that has like a larger spray. I keep this mini spray right in that basket that I just pulled out. I use it all the time, like right before I'm ready to fold something up. I spray like a little distance so it doesn't like make my merchandise wet when I put it in. I also use it as a pre-spray for steaming. I'll spray something and I have a grandma holiday sweater, ugly sweater downstairs right now and I just sprayed the heck out of it and then I came upstairs and I'm just gonna let it sit and then I'll go down and steam it and it neutralizes it. It's an odor eliminator and I have tried so many of these and this is my favorite. The molecular breakthrough that eliminates odor and leaves no scent. I do disagree with the no scent, but whatever scent this has, 
it's super light and very airy and nice, like fresh and clean. I love it. I recommend this to everybody and I keep one downstairs in my studio and up here in my basket, especially like to use it with wool, things that I can't put through the wash, like a wool coat, spray this. And a lot of the wool that I pick up can be vintage and it has that kind of vintage smell to it. And I will just spray, steam, spray, steam, spray, steam until the scent comes out that I'm trying to neutralize. One last thing, and this one's a little bit silly. Um, I am planning on doing a video on how I take photos for Poshmark. It's probably going to be in the new year. I feel like my content is all planned out through the end of this year, but maybe I'll get it in before 2020 is over. But one of the things that I use in a lot of my pictures are these little like faux greenery sprigs. This has been the one that I've used a lot. In last year, I think it was like eucalyptus. These cost like three to seven dollars at Michael's. You can get them online. This is a holiday one. And I just use these as accents in my pictures. If you wanna go check out my Poshmark closet, I am Lori Boston Found. And you can see whenever I do flat lays in my Amazon light box, I use these little sprigs with shoes, with handbags, sometimes with jewelry. It just kind of adds a pop of color and sometimes it gives me contrast that I need. Like if I have a white item that I'm putting in my photo box and the base of my photo box is white, I like to put the sprigs in so it, it adds that contrast. I just think these are great. I'm not a huge prop person. I don't do fancy flat lays with any of my stuff but I really love these sprigs because I just think they add a nice little element. And I think that I've been doing this for so long, I think sometimes when people look at my pictures, they might know it's mine because I've used the same greenery for a very long time. Well, I love the holiday one. I got into a pickle when I first started selling where I photographed a ton of stuff with holiday like berries and pine like this. But guess what happened? Some of those items didn't sell. And for those items that didn't sell, people were looking at those pieces in my closet in the month of July with holly and pine, and it just didn't work. I can use this for some of my Instagram layouts right now, current day, because it's the holiday season, but I wouldn't recommend you use a ton of holiday greenery for your flat lays just in case they don't sell before Christmas and before the holidays are over. So one last thing that I forgot to mention because I'm looking at it is my little selfie light. All of the videos that you see me record here in my office are done with a $23 selfie light. I rarely lug my ring light upstairs to do my video recording for my YouTube channel. Now I am in a room that has a ton of natural lighting, which is why I don't need it. It's also why at night, I really have a hard time filming in here because this little light isn't super strong in the evening, but I'll tell you, it serves its purpose and it clicks on and it has like a bendy neck that you can adjust to where you need it. And it also has a little arm that clips onto your phone that I used for over a year. Now I have my Canon EOS camera on my tripod and I've just clipped my little ring light here to shine on me but I love it so much, it's $23. So if you're a new YouTuber and you want some really inexpensive lighting, I really recommend this. I still use it and I love it, but I probably should get my ring light up here so that I can film more in the evening. But I've just kind of trained myself to not film too much at night. I was really excited to share some of my favorite things for you that'll be perfect stocking stuffers. Hopefully there was something for everybody in this video, whether it's beauty or wellness products, something for the reseller in your life, something you want to treat yourself with if you're into planning, digital stuff, fun little stocking stuffers to get you through the holidays. So thanks so much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, I have two days left of happy holidays. I hope you've enjoyed the series. I will share the playlist at the end of this video. I am going to have the passion planner giveaway on Sunday and that's all for today. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.